The EFF is adamant that KZN's economic hub will be theirs for the taking after the local government elections take place. The party gained major ground in the country's previous election. Their support grew from less than 2% to almost 10% in the province in 2019. The party plans to contest all of the country's 4,668 wards. The man at the helm of the party did not mince his words, saying the EFF's candidate list is final and those in the party pinning their hopes on the apex court ruling in favour of the IEC still have no chance. Whether elections are going to be held in February or not, the list in the EFF is closed. There's not going to be any amendment of the list in the EFF. It's closed. Even if they can postpone it again in the IEC, that space will not be utilized by the EFF. We're done. We don't run one program twice. The firebrand leader says their party will no longer adhere to lockdown restrictions pertaining to gatherings. Last week, the party, through their legal representative, Advocate Seba Odo, argued before the Constitutional Court that if it would not grant the relief sought by the IEC, then the Constitutional Court must make an order asking the President and the NCCC to amend and promulgate lockdown restrictions to allow for political activity. The party will be launching its election manifesto on the 26th of September. What lockdown regulation? We are done with lockdowns. There is no longer lockdown for EFF. What lockdown? We are done. We have registered candidates. We are campaigning now. On the 26th of September, on Winnie Mandela's birthday, we are opening our office there. That's why we will be launching our manifesto. There is no lockdown nonsense we are going to listen to here. What lockdown? We have registered candidates. It's so key. Let's go. Malema, who has been highly critical of the judiciary and the handling of former President Jacob Zuma's case by the highest court, took a swipe at the acting Chief Justice Raymond Zondo. In October, Chief Justice Mohoeng Mohoeng's term will come to an end. Zondo, as a deputy Chief Justice, is seen as one of the contenders. Zondo does not qualify to be our Chief Justice. Is the most incompetent person who has plugged this country into a crisis. He has single-handedly did that. He knew the implications of what he was doing. The EFF has since demanded a report from the IEC detailing the exact times each party submitted their candidates list. The party accuses the electoral body of lacking transparency on the nomination process. Natasha Piri, SAPC News, Johannesburg.